say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Maters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. Chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet, gonna educate your palate. Right here in the farmer's kitchen, in town farmer's country kitchen. cook something good now funding for tim farmer's country kitchen is brought to you by harvest energy solutions harvest cabins when you absolutely have to get away the city of stanford kentucky come back home to stanford Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting it. Good Foods Co-op, Marksbury Farm Market, Weisenberger Mill, your village shop. So Mrs. Farmer. Yes. Welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. How are you today? I'm doing really good. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. Ooh, how did that mm, mm. magic pizza dough just appear right there. It's already risen. I made that a couple couple hours ago. You know what? Today we're going to make a pizza on the big green egg. You know what? Let's call this the BLT on the BGE. Okay. I like that. Get it? I do. But don't have me repeat it's, it. <laughs> it's a BLT pizza. Right. Now while we were across the ocean, some people over there had a BLT pizza and mm -hmm. it was delicious. And the whole premise of the thing was basically BLT. Okay. Right. You got all that, but you remember a while back when we made our Caesar dressing? Very good. Our homemade Caesar dressing. Delicious. Let's revisit that real quick. Let's take a look at that wonderful, fresh Caesar dressing. I mean, my goodness, it just pops in your mouth. There's nothing like it when it's, it's fresh. Good. Let's just go ahead and get that started. The first five ingredients that I want to put together are two garlic cloves minced, a teaspoon of anchovy paste. Don't brush your teeth with that. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard one teaspoon of Worcester or Worcestershire, however you want to say it. Take your first five ingredients, whip them together. One cup of Hellman's mayonnaise, half a cup of Parmesan Reggiano, salt and pepper to taste, and you're good to go. We're gonna take this, we're gonna roll our dough out, we're gonna put it on the big green egg, and we're gonna get the temperature up to about 600 degrees or more. We're gonna get the thing smoking hot. Now when we pull it out, we're gonna put, the bacon's already gonna be on it, that's gonna, okay. be, that's gonna be our meat topping. We're gonna slice the tomatoes fresh. We're gonna take some romaine hearts, lay on there, put our fresh Caesar dressing on it, mm -hmm. and boom, Pizza. we have BLT. That sounds really good. Let's fire up the BGE for our BLT. Mighty hot BGE, big green egg, you know. I like that. <laughs> for our BLT pizza. We're gonna put some sauce on here. Hey, you know what? There's another show right there. We could show them how we can our marinara sauce. People ask how our tomatoes did, you remember? Let's yeah. look back at, at our cool way we did tomatoes. They did super well this year. Now you, you know we did shut down when Nikki had her accident. So we actually didn't have time to do anything in the garden for almost six weeks but they did absolutely wonderful. You know, I didn't even water them. Yeah, they did good. And they would hold that water in there when it rained and stuff. They did real well. Now, what do you think about that? It smells good. Do you want to go heavy on the sauce or light on the sauce? I like that, it's perfect. Not I think. right? Perfect, perfect. All right, we're not gonna go too heavy. Now, Nikki and I have a little different idea on this, but here's, here's our bacon. You could put that on top of the cheese, below it, however you want to do it, but we want plenty of bacon. Because it's a BLT. Because it's a BLT. 
My mouth is watering. Mm -hmm. Does that, that looks good. That already smells <laughs> delicious. Now, we're coming back with the fresh tomato in a little while on the top. That's going to be our cold part, just like you'd have, you know, a regular tomato. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This is not going to be good. I should eat it then if it's not going to be good. Yummy. All right, we have achieved the 600 degree mark. Should we celebrate? Let's do it. All right, now, here's your basic pizza. Let's take this. Ooh, is that fire? Where there's fire, there must be pizza. Let's close her down and let her roll. Maggie wants some too. <laughs> All right, now if you notice the plate setter in there was in a down position. Yeah. Instead of like raised up on the legs. Why'd you do that? I talked to my buddy Michael, who's supposed to be on the show here very shortly. And he said that he's been doing it with those down. Okay. And he says it just seems to work better. Hmm. So I tried it like that and that looks looks like it turned good. out pretty good to me. Now looks we wanted good. a little thicker crust on this. Those were actually two Weisenberger bags two full Weisenberg, of them. Weisenberger, right. We wanted a thick crust. Look at that. that now that's good. mozzarella cheese. Now here's the fun part. If you will, go ahead and cut up our tea part of the recipe. Let's go ahead and. You want them thin? Put the tea part. Kind of thin. This yeah, knife is nice. Perfect. And we'll take those directly. I think that's good. Good. All right. Now, the L part. The best part. And this is just romaine hearts, organic romaine hearts. That looks good. And you know the great thing about this, hmm. like all our food, there's no calories. Wow. You know why? Why? Because when you take hickory, particularly <laughs> hickory wood, seriously. Okay. And it gets above 600 degrees. Wow. As the flames rise. They absorb the mononuclear polysmus. So we should make cake out of this. Of the Chatham Ocloclus. With icing. Yes. Okay. And what happens is it pulls, <laughs> it pulls every uh -huh. bit of the calories wow. back in to the charcoal that's left from the hickory. Oh. Uh -huh. So actually, again, we're in a deficit in the calories okay. here. We're probably, we're going to lose weight. The more we eat of this, wow. the more weight we're going to lose. Now that's a neat looking pizza. Well, we're not done yet. I've, I love it. Remember the part where we made yeah, our, this, this is the best our Caesar, homemade Caesar dressing? Oh, that won't be good. That's too pretty to eat. You're going to have to look at that. Let me take this and put it across here. Yum. Like such. That's, look at that. I like Is it. Is that not the perfect? That's a pretty pizza. So Maggie, <laughs> she didn't know she could bark. I didn't uh, think she could uh, bark. Until about two weeks ago. Uh -huh. Then one day, uh, somebody was walking down the hill up there. I think it was Nathan. And she barked. And she, when she did it, she like had this look on her face like, wow, I did that? And she has not stopped. She walks in circles and just barks. And if it's moonlit night, all night long. Arf, 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 More than arf, arf. she barks a meter than uh, Moses, I think. It's got a deep bark. Keeps I like the boogers it. Out. That's right. You want to cut it? Oh, this looks so good. I'm afraid you do it. Cause I want to ruin it. I think you do better. You think job I do now. right? And we have some salad left over. We want some salad, some more salad. I'll take that half. That's yours. You don't want us a little bit smaller I'll piece? Take, yes. How about right there? Yeah, that looks good. Let's dig in. It's a big old honking piece of pizza. Yes, it is. Here. Mm. <laughs> That's good. You know what? It tastes like BLT. There'll be people who say, oh, you got to have your stone in there already. Well, I'll tell you what. When you have something that hot, it's going to cook it. That took about maybe two and a half minutes, yeah. three minutes. It was about 650 degrees, which we like. I looked in there through the top, and you don't want to do that because <laughs> you, well, lost your you might lose your eyebrows. Okay. But, and I watched it. Almost immediately, the cheese was melted. And when you have... If, you, if the stone is not in there, look at the bottom of that now. It's perfect. It came right off. If the stone is not in there and already hot, guess what? It doesn't burn the bottom of the pizza. Yeah. We actually learned something there. Mm -hmm. We've been putting it in there hot. For convenience sake, today we did it like this. From now on, I will never put the stone in there. We'll pop it off on that and bring it out on yeah. this, cut it on that, and I think that's the key. So as we learn, hopefully you learn, that is quite possibly, no, that is the best pizza I've ever yeah. eaten. Yeah. It's like we have our own pizza oven. Oh, my. better than a pizza oven. All right, you know what? Uh, we'll turn the cameras off, and I'll eat like all the pizza, another four or five pieces, okay. and then we'll go on up to the cabin, the harvest cabin, where we're going to prepare pickled beets. Some of Grandma's pickled <laughs> beets. And you know what? I, thought, I started thinking about it. You know, when I wrote the theme song mm -hmm. of the show, it was kind of the mission statement of the show. You know, it's about you know 
the things that we're going to do, the gardening, the you know, the, the making this kind of stuff. But we haven't made pickle beets yet on the show. Beets, right. But you know what? It's time to make pickle beets. But there's something else you can do because the beets are already there. Your mother mm -hmm. brought this to my attention. You came up with the fact that we need to do pickle beets. Then your mother says, I think she misheard you, and she says, you, you're making pickled eggs? And we're like, whoa, whoa. Yes, yeah, delicious. You need beet juice to make pickled eggs, so you got the byproduct right, right there. Why not go ahead and fire it up? So let's go up and fire up some beets and eggs. Sounds good to me. Can you dig it? I can. Let's eat some pizza. Let's talk about our YouTube page. You can go look at all our recipes and things that might have aired before on KET. You know what? The most common question we probably get is, Tim, what has happened to your hand? Now, we get a lot of new viewers. We're almost on our three millionth view on YouTube. That's a bunch. And more and more people are signing on every day to our Facebook page. Have people from all over the world. We thank you for watching. But I'm gonna address this again every now and then because we do get this question. 30 years ago, when I was a young Marine, I had a motorcycle accident and lost the use of my right arm. It was a really extensive injury, and I have uh, not been able to use my arm from the elbow down since, but I found a way to do just about everything I want. Now, recently we visited a shop in Stanford to pick up some knives, and a guy there made this for me. Now, if you look at this and thinking, what in the world is that? Some of you will know, because you know what my day job is. Spoons, forks, screwdriver, and a salt and pepper shaker top. Mike, and I think it's Kana, last name, made this for me. Look at that, is that not cool? Now, here's the explanation. So that little statue was made by Mike because he's seen me do this in other places. And I have competed uh, years ago against able-bodied shooters and won many, many a tournament. I was, I was ranked fairly highly in the uh, IBO years ago. And basically when I lost the use of my arm, I didn't lose my enthusiasm for the outdoors and all things included. So I picked up archery and I eventually learned how to shoot like this, using mouth tab. If you find something that gives you trouble, jump right over top of it, kick its butt and move on. The other day with the Casey County Apple Festival, this lady, probably our age, she came mm -hmm. up and she says, you know what? She said, I started cooking because of you all. Really? I'm like, wow. But I love hearing things like that. And I love seeing things. The other day, somebody on Facebook says, hey, I couldn't resist. I didn't have a smokehouse, but I took my grill. They had a, a little thermometer in there, and they were mm -hmm. checking to see that they stayed around 90 degrees, and they smoked cheese on a little board like this. I saw this. that. And it worked oh, yeah. out. It looked nice. <laughs> I love when we have input on a show like this. It's so nice. So that being said, hopefully we have some input about this later. You are a grandma. I know I am. So these are Grandma's Pickled Beets, Aww. correct? So you sang that song about me. You wrote that about but me. But I love me some of Grandma's Pickled <laughs> Beets. How do you do it? Well, it's pretty easy, and I've always loved beets. I know you love oh, beets, yeah. too. And I, I already have boiled these. Mm -hmm. And when I boil them, I like to leave the skins on, because then when they come out, put them in cold water, they just peel off. That's why See, you I got, got the gloves on. got my gloves as I want purple fingers for a week. All right. This is so simple. A lot of people put unique spices. The only thing I'm going to really do is maybe cloves. We're going to keep this basic, your basic beets. First of all, they're wonderful just cooked raw. Oh, yeah. Put a little butter in it I sometimes. could eat them right now like this. But we're going to go ahead and slice them. We're going to do, I have a recipe for just one pint jar. Okay. Does that sound good? Sounds wonderful. Now, these are, the way we do these right here, ooh, those look beautiful. Okay. These are not to set around for five years. We eat them pretty quickly. Now, it's got vinegar in it, and it's got salt, and it's got sugar, so it, it would last a long time right. if you set it around. But this is our put and take recipe. Right. We're going to put these in the refrigerator. These won't last, what, a week? Oh, yeah. And you can, if you want, you can hot bath them for 15 minutes, people do. But like you said, we're going to just eat them. Straight pickle. Yeah. And they're better if they set a couple days, but, you know, you can, I mean, almost immediately they absorb the wonderful little things you put in them there. How's and that? We got them kind of, I think we got it in there pretty good. All right. Now we're going to make the brine, and this is simple. We're just going to boil it, pour it on top, and we What's are done. That? Well, what we need, and I made it, I have this for just the one pint. That's mm -hmm. why it's going to be small. So I need to start one cup of vinegar. Okay. And I use just the white vinegar for this. Okay. And like I said, this is just to make one pint. 
put a tablespoon, actually a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. I like a little sweeter. There you go. Let's do that sweet. And a little bit of salt and pepper. You know who'd want more pepper in there. I know. Should we put a lot of pepper in there? Pepper salt. bandit. We haven't heard from Glenn in a while. We need to check on him. We do. He's salt a good fella. And then some clothes. I'm gonna put like two little clothes in here. All right. How's that sound? I love my clothes. Go ahead and put three in there. Three? All right. Yeah. That is it. We're that gonna, smells good already. Smell good. We're going to bring that to a boil, pour it on top, right. and we're done. Let's see where you're going here, and I like it. You know what? On our show, we like the Moron Brothers. Yeah, we do. We like our music. Mm -hmm. And you and I played music together. A lot of people don't know this, but we have a band, which you play the keyboards, and she's going to help out on the singing before long. I am? Yeah, you are. Okay. She's a very good singer. And we have a music show as well on KET. And this particular show, our goal with this is to bring out the musicians who are up and coming, who are talented. There's something in the water in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. We want you to come forward, you singers and you musicians, any genre, doesn't matter what kind of music, if it's jazz or rock or country or bluegrass. Gospel. Gospel. Bring it. The way to do that is to go to Tim Farmer's Homemade Jam Facebook page post something of your group or yourself singing, mm -hmm. and our producers will take a look at that, and then we will call you, or get in touch with you, and you will come join us. Our next tape show, you can come watch it taped live. Mm -hmm. It's at the Lancaster Grand, a beautiful theater from 1929. Beautiful. It's beautiful. We're actually gonna be performing, you and I, with our group. You're letting me play? You're gonna oh, play. Wow. We can't do it without you. Okay. And Tim Farmer and Coolwater will be there on the homemade jam stage, Lancaster Grand, for more information, look at the number on the screen. Get your tickets October 23rd. Yay. We're going to be jamming along with Bly and Ricky. All right, we're getting you almost to a boil yeah, here. Yeah, getting a boil. That smells really good. I know. You know, there's enough in there for another jar, I betcha, almost. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Perfect. That's it. Just like that. All right. That's sealed. Mm -hmm. That's got vinegar in it and sugar and salt, and it'd probably be fine. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Look good? You know what? You can have this with any meal. And my grandfather did. Always pickled something. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was a kid, just the color and the texture was so unusual. I, I, you couldn't get me within a mile of these. Ready? Yes. What happens when you get a little older and you start trying stuff? Mm. <laughs> That's good. That's that taste. That's delicious. That's, That's a big that piece. One, one, two, Hope I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I shouldn't say this, but I have to. So you fix these and you can't stop eating them. Mm -hmm. Nice lipstick. Thank you. You get up in the morning. <laughs> I know where you're going. You read the paper, uh -huh. drink a cup of coffee. And you think you're dying? <laughs> There's a lot of coloration in here. Yes, there is. It's okay. Goes round through. Mm -hmm. You're not dying. Just remember that when you eat beets. All right, now, since we're working with beets, this is what, three beets? Three beets and three cups of water, and I let it boil for an hour, and that's what we got Look at left. Look the coloration. Right, and it's kind of made these soft, so you could eat them. Don't eat them, though. We need them for something else. Mm. The byproduct of this whole thing mm -hmm. is the coloration, which we just talked about. Right. Maybe too graphically, but okay. that was just a warning because <laughs> there are. Mm. It's very colorful. So, the next thing we're going to do is pickle eggs. Have you ever had pickled eggs? Yes, I know you love them. Absolutely love, love, love pickled eggs. But we're gonna have some pickled eggs. This is gonna be the coloration. Mm -hmm. You know what, first of all, let's clean all this mess up. Okay. Eat a couple more beets. You gonna save some for me? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna stir it in on the eggs. Okay. Mm. 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 All right, let's take our beet juice, and we got about a cup and a half of that. All right. About a cup and a half of the vinegar, and this time you want the cider, cider, right? Vinegar. Yep. We're going to use about oh I don't know how much onions. Half a cup of onions. Yeah. Let's go with two thirds cup of sugar, and we're going to take a couple of cloves. Always, good. cloves are good because I like that flavor. Now I'm going to crank that up. All right. 
Let's put our various size and various shaped eggs in here. That we already boiled and peeled. That we already boiled and peeled. And let's put a little layer of beets in. Make it pretty. And it'll make it, it'll give that darker yeah. color too. Beets and eggs and eggs and beets and beets and eggs. When those are sitting in the refrigerator and they look at me, they beckon me. You want some more beets? Look at to make it pretty on top. More, yeah, more. make it pretty on top. Think about the things we've fixed here lately. We've opened up our minds to the fact that whatever you can buy in the store, you can make yourself. And a lot of times when you make it yourself, it's better. It's better. Mm -hmm. We smoked cheese just last week. And that's gone? You ate it all? No, I'm sorry. I had, <laughs> I, I had to eat it. We have made bologna. You ate that pretty we quick, have, too. We have smoked our own bacon. We're on a roll. Yeah. And we're not going to stop. The world is full. Somebody said, well, you're going to run out of ideas. We're not going to run out of ideas. We could, we could spend one year doing recipes on beets. We could. It never ends. The world of cooking, outside, inside, farming, gardening, all these things, it's wide open. Yeah, it is. How about some calves this spring? That would be fun. This spring, so it's nice. In the spring, yeah, in the the spring. spring. Yeah, we're not going to hurry anything. To go with the baby lambs. To go with the baby lambs. Mm -hmm. We're going to raise our own beef. What happened to your beard? You know what? <laughs> some of those hairs were like turning around and oh, digging really? in. Okay. So You look younger. You look like you're about 21, 22. Really? Yeah, you look pretty well, young. Well, you're looking mighty fine yourself, <laughs> Mrs. Farmer. Maybe I should shave. So if you were going to try to figure out how to do these things, how would you do it? Where would you look it up? Where would I look it up? Mm -hmm. Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Dot com. Or Facebook. Or Can you Facebook. find it on my Facebook? You know, go to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page and mm -hmm. like it. Right. See where we're going, what we're doing. We always give you a heads up when the show's going to come on. If you are actually looking for those recipes, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Click on Shows, then click on YouTube, and gosh, there we are. Watch them We've all. We've got a vast library for you to choose from. We are at a rolling boil. The onions look like they're getting done. All right, I'm going to take this off. I'll let that cool just a hair. It smells good. Doesn't it smell good? All right, let's let this cool, and we'll come back here in just a second. Okay. You ready? Are you excited? I am. I'm going to see what it looks like when you pour I'm it in. I'm try not to spill this all over the place. Pretty. <laughs> How about that? That looks good. Nice. Now, I remember as a kid when you would go into a fine establishment where they had adult beverages behind the bar and mass quantities of those, these were everywhere. Really? They called those places bars. Really? I didn't go to those places. I haven't places. been to one lately, but they had these Ooh. everywhere. And they soak up this color and they soak up this flavor. And they used to be everywhere. You can still buy them in jars in the store. Yeah. But it's kind of a lost art and it's kind of a lost sort of thing. These, when they cool down, we're going to stick them in the refrigerator. You can set these on a the counter probably. We're going to stick them in the refrigerator. Again, I'm going to call this put and take canning. Okay. Can you maybe leave them for a week and then we'll try them next week on the show? Can you wait I'm that really, long? I'm really, I'm really, really going to try. You're going to try to let them sit a whole week. I'll try. Okay. I'm not promising you anything. I know. They'll be gone. They'll be like halfway. You know what? We have zipped through another half hour. Mm -hmm. We made probably. I would say the best pizza I've had in a long that time. That was the best pizza I ever have had. I am serious. I loved it. You know what? There's some left, right? Mm -hmm. I, I ate a couple pieces. I think there might be a piece Kelly left. Did Kelly eat all the pizza? You know what? That Seriously, when you do things at home and you have fresh ingredients and you take your time and mix things up just like you like them, you best. can't even explain how wonderful it is. Mrs. Farmer. Thank it's you fun. for being here tonight. Oh, that is so sweet. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed our time together. Did you? But you know what? I'm very sad. Are you? Why? Because our evening is over. Aww. So let's look at these fine folks and thank them for sharing our kitchen with us. It's all about good times, good friends, and good eats. Pickled eggs. One week. You I'll, have to wait. You have to wait. I'll try. Okay. No promises. <laughs> To order a cookbook or DVD of the show, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com. Special thanks to Furniture World Superstore, Housewarmings, Tater Knob Pottery and Farm.
Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen is brought to you by Kentucky Sheep and Goat Development Office. Try something different tonight. L81 Bottling Company. Taste, love, and share the tradition. Diamond Gusset Jeans. The original gusset jean. Careful craftsmanship. Continual improvement. Diamond Gusset Jeans. Born and worn in the USA since 1987. Is it the insightful strategies and analytical capabilities that make Edward Jones one of the biggest financial services firms in the country? Or is it 13,000 financial advisors who take the time to say thank you? Night, Jim. Gonna be a while? I am, Liz. Got a little writing to do. It's why Edward Jones is the big company that doesn't act that way. 